show is about your life, how to make it better, how to make more from it, how to love deeper, how to share it with others. This journey is about connection to your dreams, with topics centering on love, money, sexuality, and the energy that unites it all. This show will change your life. For years, I've coached people in easy to learn skills, and I've seen incredible changes. I'm here to teach you those skills as a coach, and hopefully a new friend. Hi, I'm Kyle. Come along with me as you move along your path of life success. Welcome to the Kyle Phoenix Show. Getting regular exercise. And this is sometimes difficult. This is sometimes, or sometimes perceived as difficult. And people want to kind of know, well, how does this help? Scientists have actually worked on, does this affecting neurotransmitters in your brain? Is it because it raises your endorphin level? Is it because it gets you more socialized with people? And all of those are kind of true. So if you're feeling down in the dumps, the last thing you want to do is exercise. But it's the thing that will actually get you out of the dumps. Moving around moving your body, going out, exercising by yourself, like I said, walking through the park, maybe walking a pet, uh, taking in some kind of activity, maybe uh, biking or renting a bike or even buying a bike, committing to something like that, that you kind of do on a regular basis that kind of gets the blood moving. This is an excellent way to deal with some of the feelings. And if you plan on doing this, Try to do it about a minimum of 10 minutes a day. That's a short walk. But you want to really aim for, to see some real results, about a half an hour each day. If you get a half an hour of exercise a day, it will start to elevate your mood levels and you begin to feel differently. And when you feel differently, you can do some more things, which is really great. So what I want to look at is that you can take the stairs rather than the elevator. You can, if you're driving, park your car a little bit further away in the parking lot than you normally would. So you have to walk a bit more. We talked about having a pet, taking your dog for a walk, but you can pair up with an exercise partner. You can join a gym, or rather than joining a gym, you can maybe walk around the city. You can walk around the park. You can do two miles a day with each other. You can do something even as simple as when you're on the telephone, walk around while you're on the telephone or while you're on your cell phone. Say, I'll call you while I'm at the park walking. So you kind of have a buddy system, something else going on. Well, if you don't feel that you want to be that energetically entertained by yourself, you can actually have somebody with you even if they're just on the phone with you. So exercise is an antidepressant. You can exercise now and again. Ten-minute walk, as we said, can improve your mood for two hours. Choose activities that are moderately intense. Aerobic exercise is great, but you don't necessarily need to go all out and make it a whole exercise regimen to get the benefits from it. Find exercise that's continuous and rhythmic rather than intermittent, like walking, where it's continuously going on swimming, dancing, stationary biking, and yoga has become a big thing. You can get some yoga DVDs and do yoga at home. So this can kind of do something. Really commit to, you know something? I'm going to either take a walk or do my yoga DVD every day. Adding a mind-body element. Activities such as yoga and tai chi rush your mind and pump up your energy. You can also add, uh, let's say, a meditative element to walking or swimming by repeating a mantra. And we talked about the mantras that, you know, I'm good enough. This is okay. This too will pass. You know, I am loved. God loves me. However you feel about things, those are great mantras. Start slowly. Don't overdo it. You want to remember that more is always better when you do it in moderation or you build up to it. So if you're building up to more, it's going to take some time. So you don't want to try to exercise five hours a day to wake yourself up out of a depression. Maybe you want to start in a half an hour. You may get up one day to five hours a day if that's what you enjoy. By the time you actually get up to that, you probably don't want to do five hours a day. Athletes know that their moods actually can go down when they exercise too much because you kind of reach a plateau. So you kind of want to find your level slowly. So more isn't always better, but more is something that will eventually come along and you'll be able to regulate what's good for you.